DJ Henny again, back with another Hi-Fi special. Same gear this time, only I'm going to show you the back of this amp and see what you guys think. So obviously, as you can tell, I'm only using five channels because uh, I haven't got a centre one and plus I haven't got another two front speakers or main speakers and I haven't got a rear centre so I'm only using the front centre, the two rear surround and the bottom main speakers because I've only got two hooked up to this at the moment so that's drawing well it's a 290 watt receiver so at the moment it's not drawing very much power um, because I haven't got all the speakers up to it but it's drawing enough where you'll see in the next video when um, I load it up so yeah this is the things on the back of this you've obviously got a load of writing on the back there you can't see that because this camera is not very good uh, you've got AC outlets at the back there. Um, all these little, um, hang on a minute. All these things here are for like main centre speakers, subwoofer, and all that stuff. At the bottom here, I don't know if you guys can see that. Hang on, is an impedance switch. Now that allows you to switch between different loads depending on what speakers you've got hooked up to this amp. Um, at the moment, I've got it on six ohms to about eight ohms, four ohms. Um, and that's about it really because the speakers I've got are about rated at 4 ohms um, the centre one's 4 ohms, the two rear surround are 4 ohms the, my main Kenwood speakers they're about 6 ohms so this is about right setting for this um, over here we have monitors in and out uh, you can see that we've got an antenna and then all the inputs on the back Half of these probably won't get used because I don't use these yellow ones here because they're for like video and stuff. And because this is such quite an old amplifier, they uh, not many people use these anymore. Well, I don't know, depends. Um, but yeah, this is quite a lot of stuff on the back of this. And right at the far, right at the end, it's got um, uh, fiber optic cables, like infrared plugs and stuff, so you can like. Um, go for like Blu-ray player, TV, um, DVD, or some yeah sort of thing. So yeah, that's what this can do. And as you can tell, this amp is rated at that. And uh, bearing in mind, this receiver was built not that long ago, so it's it's fairly old, but it um, does its job really well. Um, and those of you that have one of these receivers, um, you might be aware of the fact that when you turn the amp off and you hold down this button here, and then you hold down this one at the top here, you hold them down like that, you turn the amp on and it gives you like all the different functions and stuff and how you set your speakers up and that. I played with that, I've set the amp to about 18 decibels, um, probably stupid for this bedroom, but it sounds good and I like it. Um, and obviously, that's, and it is a Yamaha, so very, very good. Um, at the moment, my Pioneer CD player up here is broken, um, Pioneer. This is in fact one of the cheapest, horrible CD players Pioneer ever built. This came off of a Pioneer stack system that I did have in there, um, but it was, uh, the bottom bit was all in one unit. And the rest, of the, only, the only thing that was separate was the tuner in the CD player. And I soon quickly figured out that it was a heap of junk. And I got rid of it. Um, but I kept the CD player because I just used it. Because it's quite a good one. It's uh, a, th a two CD stacker. That's the only reason why I kept this thing. Um, so yeah, the disc tray's broken it. So that's going to be going in the tip at some point. I'm getting a better one. I want to get a quality one. At the moment for a CD player I'm using this JVC mini hi-fi thing. And obviously I've got this running at the back down into the CD player input on the back of the amp. And I've got it on the line out on this. You've got an input and an out and I'm using the out. Uh, yeah, so it all works fine. And obviously down there, as I said in the video, I've got my surround sound system plus sub and speakers all around. So all in all, not a bad setup. It could be better, but it does me, it does me proud for now. Um, and I'm happy definitely really chuffed to bits with this receiver it's loud as anything <laughs> so yeah 
those of you that are big audio fans, just put a like and subscribe. You know, try, I'm, I'm trying to get as many likes as I can at the moment. So, yeah, thank you very much, guys, and I uh, hope you enjoy this video. And there'll be plenty more to come.